Welcome back to Fine Home Building House, Wisconsin. Since we were here last, we have the roof, walls, framed and sheathed, and the first floor windows in. Now it's time to head inside and do the interior double stud walls. Let's go take a look. One of the luxuries of building the double stud walls is the exterior shell of the house is complete. And here in Wisconsin today, it's eight degrees outside, but inside we've got a nice comfortable 40 degree workspace to build the interior wall of the double stud wall. We're building our double stud walls 12 inches apart, outside to outside. And our layout process starts by marking the inside corner of the two walls. We use a three beam laser to project a square and plumb line across the floor and ceiling and snap a chalk line to transfer the mark. Framing the interior double stud wall is a simple task. We used the existing wall as a guide to lay out the wall plates and because we have cathedral ceilings, we beveled the top plate to match the ceiling angle. We held the first stud in place and transferred the ceiling angle to it with a pencil line. Then we subtracted an inch and a half for the top plate and cut the stud to length and used it as a template to mark the rest of the studs. Laying out the wall is a similar process to how we raised the tall gable end walls. Laying it out on the floor makes for an easier installation. We position the studs 16 inches on center and fasten them to the top and bottom plates. The cathedral ceiling makes standing the walls easy since it's not as tight a fit as you'd have with flat ceiling. We just push the wall up until the top plate is snug at the bottom of the rafters and nail it into place once it's positioned on the chalk line on the floor. If you do have a flat ceiling, framing your wall a quarter of an inch shorter will help keep it from binding when raised. Our house will have a modern trimless interior. For fastening, we have added additional 2x4 blocking at areas where drywall reglets terminate the drywall at the floor. We're installing drywall returns at the windows and doors, which require backing or window bucks to be installed at the rough openings. I used cutoffs of zip sheathing left over from sheathing the walls and the roof to create these. This was an easy task that simply required measuring and cutting each side to length and nailing them into place. I used a portable planer to soften the rough edges before moving on to the next window. So we chose the double stud walls for our house, not just for the ease of building, but also the added insulation that it provides in the house. We'll catch you next time on Fine Home Building, House, Wisconsin.